Hey fangirls and boys, this is Natalie and you're watching Haul Out of Love. And for today's video, I wanted to discuss five different brands that are kind of under the radar that put out really cool products. Some of these are indie brands, some of them are more professional kind of lines. I just wanted to talk about a couple of brands that aren't so super discussed within the beauty community. They aren't, you're not bombarded on YouTube and Instagram with these brands. If you are interested in hearing about what some of these brands that I think are really awesome, then keep on watching. So the first brand I would like to talk about is Pinky Rose Cosmetics. Pinky Rose Cosmetics does a a lot of eyeshadows, but I think they're really most well known for their pressed glitters. So the first product I found out about of theirs was their glitter eyeshadow palettes. And I saw these on, I guess I was just on the explore button of Instagram and I came across these incredibly gorgeous looking palettes and I realized they were pressed glitter palettes and the brand was Pinky Rose Cosmetics and I had to have one. So I ordered one of these palettes and I was hooked. So that palette in question is the Hypnotize palette. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's just a cardboard packaging. It's really cute, nice and thin. It says Hypnotize and then on the back it says Hypnotize Your Artistry, PinkyRose.Cosmetics.com on the bottom. And this is what the inside looks like. So as you can see, these are all pressed glitter shades. So I'm just going to swatch a couple of these. And what I really like about these, I think people kind of don't think these really work without a glitter glue, and that's kind of true. Yeah, so this is what they look like before you try to swatch them out. And yeah, if you swatch them without any kind of glitter base, you're not really going to get much of a payoff. But what is cool about these is that you can pat them over your lid and you're going to get a little bit of a glitter effect. It's not going to be full pigment full opaque pigment. For that, yes, you would need a glitter glue, but you can use these as toppers and they will adhere to the eye. They're just not gonna adhere it full, with full opacity. And you can mix them, since there's so many different colors, you can mix to kind of come up with your custom rainbow shades and just get that nice sheer top of glitter. So if you wanna do something that's not so intense, you can go ahead and do that. And you don't necessarily need to dab into a glitter glue or have that full opacity. But if you do dab into a glitter glue, it's like working with a loose glitter. And it's kind of easier than having to have a mess when you open up a jar of loose glitter. So I think this is really cool. And another thing that's really cool about Pinky Rose is that their products are really reasonably priced. Most of their products aren't really gonna go over the $30 mark. So I really do like that, and they really have pretty good quality. So the next products I want to talk about by Pinky Rose Cosmetics that I really, really like and was super excited about are the Bright Lights eyeshadow palette and the Center Stage eyeshadow palette. Mostly matte shades with about four shimmers and two glitters. These are really nice. So these are the similar, like, these two shades over here at the ends are the pressed glitter shades. I have one of these, which is called Infamy. I did kind of did like a cut crease with the Too Faced glitter glue and then I patted the Infamy shade over the top on my lid. That's what you see on my lid. And I used the other shades, this shade Havana mostly. My eyeshadow look today, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of like a rusty terracotta matte color. Basic is also nice. It's like a plummy, deep, purpley kind of color. And also this star color, it's mustardy kind of yellow, brownish kind of color, which is really nice. So there's a lot of really nice mattes to work with in here. This color Boom is a shimmer. It's really intense. I'll swatch some of these out so you can see. So you can see the swatches right there. Right there. So these are, see that Boom shade is that shimmer is really intense. I have that kind of in my inner corner and in my brow bone. They're very blendable. They have a nice amount of pigment. They work really well. This palette, I believe, was about $24.99. So I think that's a really fair price. You're getting 14 shades. So that's really cool. So for 14 shades, $24.99. And you get pressed glitters in there. Nice array of, you can definitely create a full look with this. And the one palette that I was really excited to try that was so intense and awesome is the Bright Lights palette. This is what the Bright Lights palette looks like. This is amazing for color lovers. So you have mostly matte shades in here. I mean, you do have two regular shimmers, this Boom shade in the corner here, this like electric blue violet kind of color, and then Glitz. 
which is like a sea foam green kind of color. Those are shimmers. And this one you have three pressed glitters. They, I think this cupcake shade is really popular for them. It's like a rainbowy kind of like pink turquoise rainbow glitter color over here. Dazzle, Trinkle. So you have some fun glitters to play with with a whole bunch of really colorful mattes. These are super, super pigmented. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch some of these out. So these are a couple of the mattes from this Bright Lights palette. Yeah, so this is a really fun palette for anybody who's really into color. So the next brand I wanted to talk about was LA Splash. So I definitely see a few YouTubers talk about LA Splash. I see them on Instagram, things like that, but it's not so much. You don't hear about them constantly. You don't feel like there's constant affiliations and pushing of product. And they have some really cool stuff. I guess they gear a little more towards like an alternative kind of girl, like a little bit gothic kind of like me in a way, a little bit punky, whatever you want to call it. So some of the first products I want to talk about by LA Splash, which is what really drew me in to purchase from them, were these classic horror liquid lipsticks. I have four of them. I believe they have eight or nine in the line. These are, yeah, so these are the classic horror. So they created like this really cool art on the outer packaging. It's also on the inner packaging on the cap. So this, for example, is the Invisible Woman shade. So you can see they kind of created this Invisible Woman classic looking old school like pulp fiction-y horror kind of character. These are just regular matte liquid lipsticks. So you can see the inside also has that character on the cap and that font, the classic horror. So this shade is actually called Miss Invisible. The shade itself is called Miss Invisible. And you can see it has like that nice like teardrop applicator with the divot in the middle. So I would say that's like a true gray shade. It might have like a hint of an olive to it, but mostly gray shade. Those are pretty cool. And the next shade here I have, they create a character Dr. Jekyll and Miss Hyde. This is like one of my go-to lipstick shades. So you can see again Mrs. Hyde on the cover. So these are like really like kind of really cool like collector's items. And I'm a huge makeup hoarder collector, so I love that kind of thing. So you can see this is definitely a me color, it's like a bricky red kind of color. Muted bricky red color right there. This one I have here is the mummy. So this is like a cool tone nude color. This is really pretty. You can see that there. And the last shade I have here is Frankenstein. Or it's actually called Frank, but they created this character, like this girl Frankenstein, which is really cool. I do like that the characters that they created were all girls. I thought that was really cute. Um, Frank is the one I'm actually wearing on my lips right now. This is like a true red liquid lipstick. So that's Frank swatched out. You can also see on my lips, they go on pretty pigmented. They don't really look too patchy, especially color like this. It wasn't, it wasn't very patchy going on. I didn't have to come build up too much to get the full layer of lipstick. I think these are really nice quality liquid lipsticks. So those are really cool. And they were pretty inexpensive. They were under $20. So the next product I wanted to talk about by LA Splash are these diamond dusts. And a lot, a lot of their packaging has this really cool globe orb kind of shape to it. So this is their, their, these are basically loose pigments. They're glittery loose pigments. So the one I'm showing here is called Dragon Dust. This is like a mauvey, purpley, sparkly pigment. I'll swatch it over here. So that's Dragon Dust. It's very sparkly, very pretty, and it's really cute. I don't know if you could see this. It actually says LA, the little like hole cutouts where the pigment comes through says LA, so that's really cute too. The next shade I have here is called Earth. This one's really super pretty. This one is like a forest green with gold glitter in it. You could see it right there. That's Earth, and you could see as I turn my hand, the gold really pops. 
and the glitter also in that other Dragon Dust shade does really pop too. And the last shade I have here is called Zodiac. This one's really fun. This one isn't as glittery. It's actually, it's more of like a pearly iridescent, like a matte with like a little bit of a pearly iridescence to it. This one is like a hot pink red. It's super, super pigmented. So you could see that Zodiac right there. And those are the LA Splash Diamond Dust Loose Pigments. They also have loose glitters. So the next brand I wanted to talk about is Cosetti. This one I actually did hear Nikki Tutorials talk about on her channel, which really turned me on to some of their products, namely their eyeshadows. But honestly, I've only heard her maybe one other YouTuber talk about their products. I, mean, I don't really hear about them too, too much. So this is a Z palette, but these are some of the eyeshadows that I got from Kosei. I got these at iMats. So this is what some of the eyeshadows look like, and these are really, really beautiful. This shade here is one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow singles. This is called Haylight, I believe. So this is just like a champagne, pinky, shimmer, glitter, metallic shade. But like, look at that. It's like a pure, glittery, foiled kind of shade. I'll just swatch that right there. That's like a super dreamy color. It's just so pretty, like, right there. It's so pretty and pink and champagne-y. It's like a glossy sparkle to it. It's it's kind of metallic, kind of foiled, but it has a, more, a kind of glossy element to it. I find some of the ColourPop Shimmery Super Shock shadows have that, but I don't always see a lot of eyeshadows that have like a glossy feel to their metallic finish, so I really do love that shade. And there's also some really intense like pigmented red color. This is like a shimmery red kind of color right there, very pigmented, very pretty. And this is like a violet with a very shimmery metallic finish. All of these shadows are just really beautiful, really pigmented. This green matte color here. I don't really have any other greens like that in my collection. This shade right here. I definitely want to pick up more of these. I feel like these are just really, really well performing eyeshadows. Again, I think this is more of a pro line, but I really do like the quality of these products and I don't really hear them talked about too much. But I think what they're really known for, if anything, is their brushes. They have really beautiful brushes. Just the quality of the brushes, the way the barrel feels is very, very nice. This is their S120 brush. This is like a powder brush. I really love that, and excuse the fact that my brushes are dirty, but this is, I really love the way that this brush is like tapered. It's like a large powder brush, but it's tapered. So you can get underneath the eyes and just like kind of contour the shape of your face with it or even highlight if you just use the tip of it but you can also powder all over your face so this is like one of my favorite brushes i really like this tapered powder brush here and another brush i have by them here is the s140 this is a nice tapered not so densely packed highlighting kind of brush so that's really nice too it's just perfect because it just has that light light touch to it you could just graze your cheek very easily with this and you have that nice taper to it. The next brush I have to talk about here is their D225. This is just a shader packing on kind of brush. And I love how they have these like pretty purple barrels and it's just very good quality. Like it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart. I've had these for about a year now and they are still nicely intact. This is the D260. This is just like one of those pencil, not pencil, but just one of those brushes that you can, you know, really define with. And the last brush I have here is P375. This is just a liner brush, not an angled one, but just a straight liner brush. So these are really good brushes. Very nice and soft. The bristles stay put. They don't really migrate as you're trying to clean them or you know, scrape product off or anything like that. I feel like they're just probably some of the nicest quality brushes I've tried. And the way I love the shape of the brushes, I feel like they're just, you know, they just work really well 
for whatever your, your application you're trying to do. I also have like a really nice tapered blending brush by them, you know, to work in the crease and things like that. I couldn't find that one for the video. That's one of my favorites as well. It has like that little bit of a taper, but you can still blow out the crease really nicely with that. So, so I really like the shape of those. So the next brand I want to talk about is Lit Cosmetics. So I do, again, hear about these from time to time on YouTube and whatnot, but they're not, you're not constantly bombarded hearing about these. So Lit Cosmetics, really, they're in the business of making loose glitters, and what they have that's really cool is they have any kind of loose glitter color you could think of, and they do them in, you know, very clear sizing. For example, this is the shade Plush, and this is solid size 2. I think this is the smallest one that they do. see right there so this is just like a really fine lime green kind of glitter and another one I have here which is like an old gold color is called Liberace and this is size 3 so these are a little bit bigger so this will give you a little more chunky textured look but it's still not super super big I think the largest ones that they do are the size 4. Underneath my lash line right now I have the size 4 in the shade Firecracker. So this is just like a bright red glitter and you could see you could see there that the particles are a little bit chunkier. It's just really cool like I think what they do is they have all of their different shades and then you can pick if you want it in what size you want it. I don't think it's necessarily just certain colors come in certain sizes. I think they like for example the firecracker I think you can also get it in a two or a three. I got the four the largest one just to try out that chunkier glitter. So I think that's really cool. You have all these different glitters and effects. I think one of their products they're really known for is their Clearly Liquid Glitter Base. As you can see, it's like a pure liquid. It's not a gel. It's not a cream. It's like a liquid glitter base. And what this is cool for is lining. So if you just dab a brush in the glitter base and then you dab your glitter, especially if it's the two, like that really fine glitter, it's going to turn it into like a glitter pigment where it's just going to glide across with full opacity. I'm not too crazy about this product to be honest. I find that it's hard to control the amount of liquid you want and it get you can get a diluted result very easily. I've tried to do some cut creases where I put that glitter line on top and I've made some mistakes because it's just hard to control that level of liquid to glitter ratio. And I also find that this takes a really long time to dry on me with my hooded lids. I literally have to sit there with my eyes closed for like two or three minutes for it to fully dry and I can't get with that. So I'm not too crazy about this. This is the waterproof one. I haven't really tried too much. Their regular one, maybe the regular one is better, but I think this is good for lining, like especially if you want to do the lower lash line, it's really nice. I think a lot of people do like this because it has the ability to turn your glitters into that glitter pigment, especially the smaller number two grade glitters. And what they also have, which is really cool, aside from their glitters and the glitter glue, is this. This is, I'm not sure what these are called. This, it just says magnetic, which is the name of it, the shade Liquid Metal Gold Flake. So they'll have like a metal gold flake or silver flake, so they'll have a pigment within a gold or a silver flake. So it gives it like a kind of a warmer or cooler tone. And these are supposed to work with their glitter base. Again, I find that it gets very creasy if I try to use that base because it takes too long to dry. But these are like more of a very, very, very fine, very, very, very fine glitter slash pig loose pigment. So that's magnetic with the gold uh, flake. So it's kind of like you could see, I, I, I was just deciding between this one and the one with the silver flake because they also have magnetic and silver flake. Again, it's cool. You kind of have the option to pick the different variations of shades that you want. But this one, it just I thought it was cooler because the one with the silver flake was like a straight silver. This one has a little bit of complexity to it. It's almost like a taupe with a gold flake in it. And one more of these loose pigment products that I have is called Glisten. This one is, it's, again, it's that's the name of the product. It's liquid metals, and this one has a silver flake. Again, this one was interesting because it was like a champagne-y kind of color. So instead of having something that looked a little more typical for this color with a gold flake, I did some, you know, I got the one with the silver flake. So that's like a pearly champagne kind of color with that silver flake. It's really, really pretty. 
So these can work if you pat them over a bit of like a sticky base, like if you're doing like a cut crease and you pat them over, they could work pretty nicely. Again, they could work with their own base pretty well if you're into just like waiting for them to dry. Otherwise, I'm not too crazy about them because they get pretty creasy. I would suggest trying to find other means to get them to adhere, but it is like a pigment, so it should be able to adhere with like a little bit of a tacky base. And they also recently came out with a lot more colorful variations of them. Originally, they did just more of those muted tones, but now they have a few different color variations of their liquid metal products, so I definitely want to get more of those. And I really do like Lit. They're, they kind of draw the line between like a fun brand and a professional brand, so I think that's really cool, and they kind of have the game sealed, locked and sealed when it comes to glitter. So the last brand I want to talk about is Bodyography. I don't really hear about this brand too much. I actually heard about them at Nylon Magazine because they recommended this palette, which is a really awesome palette. This palette has an incredibly insane amount of product. This has 0.14 ounces in each pan of eyeshadow. So this is what it looks like. And I'll list the name of this palette below. I know that they originally sold these individually and then they put them in a, pa in a palette. This is $72. For your first order, you can get a 20% discount. They do offer pro discounts because they're more of like a pro brand, as I mentioned. And there's a ton of product in here. So it's not necessarily geared towards personal use. It seems like it's more geared towards, you know, client use and things like that. These pans are removal, which is pretty cool. And these colors are just really pretty. It's just really pretty matte. Mattes, matte bright colors that are like really pigmented they blend really well so you could see some of the swatches right there you could see I'm a big sucker for the bright toned eyeshadows and as I get more and more into makeup I'm really less tolerant with products that don't work well. So for me to find, you know, mattes that are pigmented and colorful that work really well, it's like a home run to me. So I really do enjoy this palette. Again, it was $72, which is pretty pricey. Ton of product and I got a 20% discount. And the last product from Bodyography that I've tried here, which are really amazing, are these glitter pigments. So these glitter pigments are really cool. They kind of remind me of those L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows that they first came out with that had like that little stopper so it's almost like a packed loose pigment like it would be a loose pigment but it's packed down so it's not really going to go anywhere as long as you keep that stopper on and it won't dry out it might have a little bit of a creaminess to it and this is the shade Comet and what I really like about these they're kind of like the lit ones except again they have that creaminess and they're a little bit packed is that they have the two tone so it's not just one color like this has like a lilac with a silver glitter in it. So these are like really super pretty. And they're a little bit creamy, but they're mostly a powder. Really pigmented and they have like that two-tone glitter. And this one's really beautiful too, this other one that I have here. Some of the other colors had, they had were like a little more like champagne-y, baby pink kind of colors. These are the more vibrant ones. So I have Supernova over here. Supernova is kind of a teal with a bronzy gold glitter. So you can see Supernova right here. So that's Supernova there. And these are the kind of things that are a little more sheared out when I swatch them like this, but you could really pack them on your lid for really intense multi-dimensional color. So you can, they're easy to shear out or pack up and they're really, really pretty. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Have a good one. Bye guys.